So you end up questioning it. You're like, maybe they weren't the narcissist. Maybe I was the narcissist. You're like, well, maybe they weren't the narcissist. I wasn't all that nice either. Maybe I brought out the worst in them. You know, maybe they weren't sleeping with everybody I said they were sleeping with. Maybe they weren't cheating on me. Maybe I was too busy, right? Maybe they were just lashing out when they told me they were disgusted by me and they hated me, right? Maybe all of that wasn't deceitful and abusive. Maybe it really wasn't wrong, right? Y'all, that's complete craziness, okay? It's designed to make you feel this way, right? And maybe my name really is not Yolanda, okay? Maybe 5 plus 5 really is 27. You know what I'm saying? And so on, you guys. It is, just as you remember it, that's exactly what happened. You're not crazy. And you're not the narcissist. You're just questioning reality and everything that happened. So you don't have to face and then process the ugly truth. That's all it is. So you don't have to abandon all hope. It hurts to abandon hope. It leaves you feeling empty. So you desperately try to, to gaslight yourself like the narcissist used to do you. Remember that? And they revived that the hope that kept you going for so long, it feels a little bit better than having to give up on hope, right? That's been your best friend for so long. What does not feel better, however, are the consequences of giving the narcissist the benefit of a doubt because they will come back with the fury of hellfire, shoving all your face in the fact that you're dealing with the narcissist after all. Nothing good comes from a narcissist, y'all. It will never feel better. You know, it was always for the best for you just to believe that you're dealing with a narcissist. Never give them the benefit of a doubt. Right? You know what happened. You know exactly how it went. You saw it for what it is. And that's exactly how it is. You were dealing with the narcissist. You're not the narcissist. Do not give this a second look. Do not gaslight yourself into believing it was something that it really wasn't. It was just as you remember it. Okay? There comes a time when you have to stop gaslighting yourself and believing that you weren't dealing with what you were really dealing with. I tell y'all all the time, a narcissist is a narcissist. This empty vessel that you were dealing with was just as you remember it. You're not making this up. You're not crazy. So you have to stop gaslighting yourself into believing that 5 plus 5 is 27 when you know for a fact that it's 10. Okay? Just want to share that with y'all. Because y'all, so many people do this to themselves. Maybe it wasn't my fault. Maybe I'm the narcissist. Maybe they weren't the narcissist. Maybe I shouldn't have called them that. Maybe that's not really what it was. Maybe they were having a bad day. No, they weren't. You saw what you saw, and it is what it is. A narcissist. Okay? That's it for you. this video, you guys. Until next time. Mm -hmm.